Okay, we're going to go back uh, to that uh, breaking news that we were just bringing you before that Malaysia has just released satellite data from the British company Imasat on communications between satellites and the Malaysian airliner MH370. Let's uh, go to Kuala Lumpur. We can speak to our correspondent Ryan Meltzer. Uh, welcome, Ryan. What can you tell us about this breaking story? Well, this is something that the families of the passengers have been demanding for weeks now. Uh, for Malaysia or for Inmasat to release this raw data of the signals, the handshakes, the pings, call them what you will, that were being sent automatically from the plane's engines back to Inmasat satellite. Now, what we've got here is, in fact, 40-something pages, literally, of raw data, just of numbers, obviously indicating the signal, the time, the frequency. It's completely incomprehensible to the ordinary person, despite them saying that they've given an explanation that will help readers to understand it. I suspect the readers they're talking about would be the experts that the family members or their lawyers will be seeking to engage to re-examine this data. Now, before this data was released, Inmarsat spent a couple of weeks going over it and then having it verified by Britain's uh, air accident investigation people to determine that they felt the plane had definitely ended its flight over the southern Indian Ocean. So it was a couple of weeks even before this data was released. Now, since then, Malaysia has said it's taken the data back to its panel of experts, including you know, people from the major world bodies that study accident investigation. And they have concluded the same thing. It went down in the southern Indian Ocean. So what the family's experts are going to find in this that is any different is you know, anyone's guess. It seems highly unlikely. But this is something that is done basically to placate the families and to show transparency and to show that neither Inmarsat nor Malaysia is hiding anything.